Hey methods, good evening. I hope all is well. I said I was gonna give you another video, so I decided to do it somewhat podcast style again, I guess. You guys really enjoyed that the last time. Um I'm coming to you this evening with my road to mommyhood or road to being a mommy. I don't know what to call this. I guess like mini series type deal but um yeah I guess I just wanted to talk a little bit about the start of my journey um I know I mentioned you know um becoming a single mom by choice uh a few videos ago and it got negative feedback um some a lot of you guys didn't like it but you know that's okay it's not your journey it is my journey and I know for a long time I said you know I didn't want to willingly be a single mom but I feel like at least the first time <laughs> the first go around you know this is the way for me just because you know I'm really ready to be a mom um and that doesn't mean that I've given up on love or dating or anything like that um it's just you know this is my decision and where I am in my life right now with what I want to do you know journey to baby so I had my first ultrasound sonogram um this week and it was eventful I will say the least I got a lot of blood work done they took about 22 vials of blood and I had to get my pelvic exam done while on my cycle so that was not fun um some things that they did see um, fibroids, you know, I mentioned uterine fibroids, but I do have them. My OB said that I had four, maybe about three months ago. Um, the lady here at this appointment said she saw two. Um, they measured at one with five centimeters. The other one was under five centimeters, which, you know, is good because it's not large. Um, you know, so I'll be okay with that. Hopefully, I won't have to get them removed. But if I do, you know, that's something I'm going to have to go through. That'll prolong the process. But, um, yeah, so I guess the way I'm feeling now is excited for sure um because I've wanted to be a mom for so long like ever since I was a little girl I remember me and my friends would put like pillows and <laughs> sheets under our shirts and pretend we were pregnant and we would always say what we were going to name our children um so you know this has always been something that I wanted to do and I am I feel like I'm mentally prepared physically I definitely have some work to do I am overweight so I'm working on you know getting that weight under control um, as much as I can financially it's very taxing you guys um, <laughs> I'm telling you like I started doing my research and I knew that it would be a lot of money. Um, you know, getting the the goods, <laughs> I'll call it, it's between $1,200 to $3,000, depending on, you know, how many vials you buy. Um, yeah, so that's not fun but you know this is something that I want to do so 
I am going to pay for it. Um, I was told to look for donors. So I kind of started doing that a little bit. Um, it's interesting that you're able to choose, you know, a person or, you know, a donor, um, based on their looks, you get to see, you know, depending on which, uh, I guess, bank you go through, you're able to see, uh, child photos, adult photos, get their medical history, hear their voice, um, and it's so interesting, uh, that portion is a little overwhelming, just because I feel like it's, like, so much to sort through, like, you know, so many different options, races of, you know, the donors and their ethnic background and their religion and their medical history and, you know, deciding what I want to choose. Um, I have chosen what race I want to choose. I really won't disclose that right now. It'll probably be in a future video, but it's just so interesting how you're able to pretty much pick who you want to, you know, have a child with without all the drama <laughs> that would entail with that if it was a real, you know, someone that you were actually dating or into. Which brings me to my next topic. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not afraid of love or you know marriage and everything like that because those are things that I still want as well um you know whoever I meet or choose to be with they're just gonna have to accept my child um you know I'll be honest about the process and everything that took place um I'm not ashamed of that I won't be ashamed of that but one of the things that I will say if anyone is thinking about or have decided to be a single mom by choice is to create um, your support system. Definitely have a strong support system because, you know, there are going to be some challenges because, you know, at the end of the day, you don't have, you know, a, a father present or, you know, have that father to call and say, hey, you know, baby needs this or, um, you know, can you pay half for this? You know, it's kind of like all on you. And I'm pretty stable and independent, so I don't think that. You know, I'll have a lot of uh, challenges, definitely financially. As far as support, you know, I do have uh, my support system. But um, it takes a village regardless, whether you're married or seeing someone or, you know, if you're having a baby with somebody, definitely takes a village. And I am in a process well, I pretty much have, you know, created my village. Um, I will say I'm not like going around like telling everybody like, hey, this is what I'm doing or whatever. But I do know that there are going to be some people that don't agree with the way I choose to bring a child in the world. And that's okay. Um you know what what is understood does not have to be explained and that's just pretty much how i feel about it honestly i'm excited for this journey um you know i'm just going to enjoy the process one step at a time i don't want to jump the gun or you know, anything like that because anything can happen. Um, I've been watching a lot of women 
here on YouTube that, you know, are single mothers by choice. And they tell their story and, you know, they show their journey. And it's just very inspiring how women choose to, you know, do this on their own and kill it. Like, I remember watching a video where a woman had, you know, three children. And, you know, she got a donor for all three. And I was just like, wow, like, God bless her. But, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share a little bit. Sorry, I'll be a little more organized as the videos continue. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, you know, I appreciate positive feedback, positive support. If you have anything negative to say, you know, please just don't say it. So. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching my journey as I live through it.